Hello, my name is Joe and welcome to another edition of Joe's Technology. Recently I had a video where I demonstrated a refurbished computer that is a was a Core i5, but it was only $250 complete, you know, for the PC itself. It doesn't come with a monitor, but it had the uh, keyboard and the mouse. And uh, immediately I got a bit of feedback from a few people saying, Joe, where do you find deals like this? I mean, uh, you know, a refurbished computer like that would meet my needs and it's definitely wallet friendly so where do I look for these things so this is a quick uh, overview of some examples of a couple of places where you might be able to find inexpensive computers so here let's go ahead and you can just open up your favorite web browser and in this case I'm going to go to a place called Newegg. Newegg is a uh, popular retailer of um, you know, hardware here in the United States and in Canada I believe they also have uh, you know stuff in the, I believe in the UK as well but uh, I haven't uh, looked at their UK site and so if we go down here to products we can go down here to computer systems uh, desktop computers and let's see where would it be um, hmm, I guess I don't show it quite here but let's say desktop computers and then if we scroll down here because it, it, they may not want to make it too obvious um, <laughs> refurbished look at this 999 so if we click on refurbish and say apply we're now looking at used computers now why would we be interested in these well for one thing these used computers are these are not consumer systems these are typically business computers the reason that they have so many of these refurbished computers is that many businesses to insulate themselves from changes in technology rather than purchasing a computer they will lease it and that way they pay a predictable monthly fee in order to have their computer hardware to a leasing company and at the end of the lease agreement instead of uh, you know then the leasing company just uh, provides them a new computer so they just pay a monthly fee just like a utility and they've always got the latest hardware available so these machines typically will see two or three or even four years of service at uh, some company and then for life cycle replacement they're switched out and uh, well they're no longer new because they have so many hours of operation under the belt and that's the thing you never know how many hours these were used you might be getting a computer that was sitting on a secretary's desk and was used very rarely or a machine that was used on a production floor that was beat up <laughs> but the good thing is that by buying it from a professional refurbisher you get a guarantee of at least you know usually they'll they'll be like 30 or maybe 60 days and they'll come with an operating system well depending on which uh, furbisher as you can see this one says Microsoft authorized refurbished so say for example here we'll, we'll go ahead and link this in a new tab and take a look this one's very similar to the cat computer that I purchased and here let's see what it says here um, da, 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 da. Yeah, it looks very similar. Because I bought a 6200, this is a 6300. And let's see, it'll probably say something like it comes with Windows or something like that. Oh, uh, this one comes with Windows 10 Home Edition. Oh, this one comes with one year warranty. Wow, that is very good. Look at the price. That's even cheaper than what I paid. Now, personally, I'm not a fan of Windows 10 for various reasons, but I know a lot of people are, are quite happy with it, so. You know, and they have various different views, so you can take a look at it. This one's a little smaller than the one that I picked up. Um, but if you don't mind a, a slim computer, uh, you could probably have a little bit of fun with this. Oh, and it shows the keyboard and mouse that it comes with. Keep in mind that if you wanted to use this for gaming or something else, uh, you would need to get a low-profile card to go with this. Uh, so that, that should be no problem. There, there are some very good low-profile pro cards right now. So as you can see, they've got hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of different models. And so basically, it's just a matter of what you feel your wallet can bear. And uh, here, if we organize these by lowest price, so we'll just go lowest price. They can get very low. Whoops. Uh-oh. We're, we're not seeing just computers. We're seeing components. Um, I just wanted to see actual <laughs> oh and if you have a preference on operating system you can say I prefer Windows 7 uh, and as you can see they have Windows 7 systems as cheap as $69 now keep in mind that because these were business class computers uh, their emphasis like I said was on business tasks so they'll be great for things like you know doing homework you know spreadsheets documents presentations watching videos on YouTube or Netflix any of these computers would probably be just fine as a media center computer and uh, 
you know, you, you'll have to take a look and see, you know, Pentiums are, are the low ends, you know, so these are the really light computers, hence the price. You get up a little higher, Quark 2 Duos are a little bit better, and as you can see, the price difference is not all that significant. So here, I mean, Quark 2 Duo means that, you know, you're, you have two cores versus just one. So, you know, a bit more horsepower, and then once you get up into the uh, later series, uh, you know, they, they start getting up there in price. Mm, let's see, yeah, there's a, a really wide selection here. So it just basically depends on uh, what you feel your wallet can bear, you know. You might want to look at how big is the hard drive that it comes with, what type of operating system does it come with, you know, if you have a particular preference. I know, for example, there are many businesses that may have older software that only runs on Windows 7, for example, that they've invested in, and either new versions of the software are not available, or they don't see the necessity for buying a new version just because Microsoft decided that they wanted to abandon Windows 7. And uh, in truth, you can continue to use Windows 7 if you need to. Uh, just don't connect it to the internet, um, <laughs> unless you've got really good antivirus, because there's no more support for it. Uh, well, unless you're using the professional edition. In fact, here, let's take a look. Since these are, well, here's a Microsoft authorized reseller. Let's see, is this Windows Professional? Ah, it is Windows 7 Professional 64-bit. There is still support for this version. So you'll still be able to, uh, oh, <laughs> antivirus free trial. Yeah, they, they want to get you to subscribe to their service. So. Uh, it, it's a shame, you know, antivirus should come for free with these things. I mean, kind of create a problem and then they have something to sell to you. Um, <laughs> I'm going off on a tangent. Uh, all right, so Newegg is an example of one retailer, uh, but what if uh, you'd like to stick closer to home, something nice and simple? Well, it probably doesn't get any simpler than, whoops, than Walmart. In the continental United States, Walmart is everywhere. Walmart has this really interesting app for your phone, and uh, so you can download it for Android. And basically, you can just have things shipped right to your door. Anything, I think, over like $50. Um, so I'm kind of guilty. I mean, I have a cat, and he eats a lot and he poops a lot. So rather than schlepping 20 pound bags of cat food you know, home from the store, I'm like, you know what? UPS can do that for me. So I use Walmart quite a bit. So here, if we go down to electronics, um, and uh, here, let's see, computers, desktops. Again, they're not gonna show it here right on the top, but if we go through here, and we look, um, let's see, ah, refurbished desktops. Again, these are all corporate systems. These are not the ones that were sold to consumers. These were sold to businesses. And the way you can tell is that it'll be something like HP Pro or, you know, um, Dell Optiplex. These were all their their business brands, you know, that uh, were, were sold to people. And so you can save a lot of money by just buying the refurbished ones and, and get it from an authorized reseller. Now, some people may uh, take issue with it and say, well, if you buy from a reseller, you know, it's passing through multiple hands, and so it's going to cost you more. You might save a little bit if you go dumpster diving and uh, <laughs> salvage yards. And that's true. If you're willing to invest the time um, you can save money by going and digging through piles of junk and putting together computers from scrap. And there are people that do that. But it does require a bit of knowledge in order to know what it is that you're getting. And it will require an investment in time. And time is money. Uh, I mean, when you can get a computer and you can get a guarantee with it that it's going to work and that all the parts are there and that it has a, a properly licensed operating system and it's 100 bucks. I mean, for me, I'll, I'll just go ahead and buy the refurb. Um, <laughs> and in many cases, if it doesn't have enough memory for what you're looking for, these older machines take types of memory that are in such common mass production or they're old surplus stocks of them that you can probably upgrade the memory that's in them very, very cheaply. Um, so again, you know, this site I believe will also allow you to say, um, let's see, does it have by lowest price? Oh, <laughs> let's see, I think there's a way to... Well, and you can search by operating system. Oh, and brand, and yeah, all kinds of other stuff. And so if you have specific requirements, you know, like, you know what, I need it 3 gigahertz and up, you know, you can do that too. 
wow, you can get a 3 gigahertz machine for 94 bucks? That's actually not bad. That is not bad. Yeah, so if you're looking for, you know, um, another good site would be Sears.com. Uh, matter of fact, here, let, let's go and we can visit Sears. I believe Sears has them also. Uh, let's see, electronics. Uh, let's see, computers. Desktop computers. Again, they don't put it on the menu. You have to go looking for these things and say, no, I want the refurbished computers, please. At least I'm pretty sure they've got them. Discount. Hmm. <laughs> All discounted items? Come on, I, I know you've got a refurb category. At least I was fairly certain that they did. Here, let's see by discounts. We'll say discounted items. I'm guessing that that means that they're refurbished. This looks like a refurbished computer. Uh, it's a Core 2 Duo for one thing. Okay, so here Sears isn't coming out and... Okay, yeah, refurbished seller. So, again, they do have refurbished computers here at Sears also. And uh, it looks like they have many of the same ones that we find over there on the, uh, the other sites, you know, Walmart and uh, Newegg. So there are inexpensive computers available from everywhere. So I, I still meet people that don't have computers at home, and they'll tell me that the issue for them is price. They're like, well, I don't have a lot of money. I, I can't afford, you know, some big desktop. And I, I shake my head, and I'm like, y you realize that you can buy something used. If you just need to get on the Internet... If you need to be able to, you know, because everything these days, especially with jobs, requires you to go to different websites, fill out forms, and you can get by with some of that on a phone or a tablet, but there are many things that really require a PC in order to do them properly. You know, you're applying for jobs, you're going to online classes in school, you're doing documents for, for work, um, and, you know, you just need an inexpensive PC to get the job done, consider a refurbished computer, especially one from an authorized reseller that uh, comes with a warranty, and you can probably save quite a bit of money. And these machines, even though they're four or five years old, are still very good. And in many cases, I mean, it's good enough. I mean, that's part of the reason why uh, Intel laments that uh, sales have been down, because they made such good products and so is AMD, that many people have not needed to upgrade, you know. Eh, these days the cutting edge for computing is either really high-end stuff like virtual machines or video games, one or the other. <laughs> uh, or, you know, video editing. Those, those are like some of the really big applications. Join me next time here on Joe's Technology, and uh, let me know about uh, things that you would like to learn about uh, here on this channel. And like I said, this video is uh, directly the result of feedback that I received. I read all my feedback, and uh, I look forward to hearing from you. See you next time.